Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and over there is John Lundowski. How are you doing, John? Okay. Other than tired. <laughs> Other than that, okay. So if John starts during the show, yeah, it's the second night in a row where we're just, oh. So um, we're just tired. Um, a lot weighing on us right now. But uh, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 202, West Art Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Um, our, my room is lit up blue um, uh, for those who lost and perished in the uh, year ago Waukesha parade incident uh, right near, uh, it's about, what, a 10-minute drive to Waukesha from our place. So, um, and I had some friends that were there, one hurt. Tyler, hope you're doing good, buddy. Um, uh, I saw him on two, um, it's the 19th. I saw him Saturday. Yep. So, um, uh, I wanted to just say that our, our hearts and thoughts are still with those families as they grieve now with, um, uh, justice being done and um as the holidays approach yet again um our thoughts are with them as they go through those because the holiday not one without family so that's why i always have john at my house on holidays no matter what holiday it is john uh -huh. whether it's after or before he's always at my house yeah, you know. he can show up at my he'll show up at my house at eleven fifty nine, the last possible minute on one of those holidays. But mm -hmm. one minute that day, hanging out as friends, because that's so how we treat each other like brothers, like family. Yeah. But alrighty, today the Nashville Predators took on the Arizona Coyotes. Um, interesting note: uh, Cutter Ingram versus uh, Yusei Saros was the tendy matchup. So, note on that. Uh, before we got into anything, um, at this point all right so in the game the predators outshot the coyotes 45 to 27 face off percentage the predators were better at 55 percent to 45 percent still close though on the power play the predators went two for seven the coyotes went oh for two penalty minutes the predators had 11 the coyotes had 21 <clears throat> The Coyotes out hit the Predators 34 to 24. They out blocked them 13 to 9. And the Predators had 10 giveaways to the Coyotes, 8 giveaways. All righty. Well, you know, the interesting stat that sticks out in that one is, is the definitely the penalty minutes for Arizona. It seemed like every three to four minutes they were in the box. Yeah, it did. And that's not the way you help your goaltender, and that's not how you win hockey games. You got to stay right. out of the box. Teams like even teams with bad power plays will burn you eventually. Right. So carry on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, scoring in the first period was Mikhail Granlin getting his second of the year, assisted by Forsberg, his 12th, and Yossi, his 12th. That was at 7.04 in the first on the power play. Then in the second period, Lawson Kraus scored his seventh of the year for Arizona, assisted by Bustad, his fourth, and Maselli, his tenth. That was at the 8.50 mark of the second period. Then Nick Bustad scores his second of the year, assisted by Richie, his fourth, and Moser, his ninth at 50, 15, 56 in the second period. In the third period, Robin Yossi scores his fourth with an assist from Ryan. Joe Hanson, his sixth, and Mikel Granlin, his 13th. Granlin had a really good hockey game. Yeah. Um, that was scored on the power play. Then Matt Duchesne, literally 28 seconds later. Mm -hmm. With an assist from Sissons, where Sissons just dropped it back to him, and he went, Roof Daddy! <laughs> uh -huh. Or as one of the guys who inspired me to even cover hockey, Top Shelf, where Mama hides the cookies! 
Um, uh, then Nick Bukestad gets his third unassisted shorthanded um, at the 13-16 mark. We go to overtime. Um, shots at that point of OT were Nashville sh outshot them in overtime eight to nothing. Yeah. No shots on in overtime. Then we get to the fun, which <laughs> is the shootout. Shootouts are normally quick. Normally. So shooting first for the Nashville Predators was Mikel Granlin. No goal. Uh, Nick Schmaltz. No goal. Matt Duchesne. Goal. Nick Bukestad. Goal. Uh, Philip Forsberg. Goal. Clayton Keller. Goal. Ryan Johansson. Goal. Nick Ritchie. Goal. Roman Yossi. Save. Matias Micelli. Save. Yusuf Parson. Save. Travis Boyd. Save. Cody Glass. Goal. Shane Gostas Beer. Save. Huh. Talk about your all-time cool goalie duel. Right. Connor Ingram stopped 42 of 45 with a .933 save percentage. That's much, much better than the UC Saros 24 of 27 with a .889 save percentage. But save percentage in a game like this where you outshoot your opponent by almost 20 for Saros, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Saros played lights out. Um, it was a really good hockey game. Um, I would like to ask two things out of this game out of the Nashville Predators. One, Craig Smith, never fight again. <laughs> never. Don't do it. If you're just going to go, eh, no. Don't even drop him. Just take get him to take the two. <sighs> Just not a fan of that. All right. So we will be back tomorrow with the Milwaukee Admirals and the Manitoba Moose. Um this extends the Preds point streak to four games. I think, if I remember correctly. I think it's at four. Maybe five. Uh, let's see, six, three, one, and two. It may be six. I think they lost an OT, then they went a couple, one and three, and then they lost two. Um, St. Louis is obviously buzzing. They won seven straight. Uh, Boston's won seven straight. Uh, Pittsburgh's won three straight, but uh, all those fail in comparison to the uh. Let's see. Team second place in the league. That'd be the New Jersey Devils who have won 13 straight. Wow. And when you talk about stuff like that, you got to talk about the reverse factor. Remember everybody saying this may be Buffalo's year? Well, unfortunately, they've now lost eight straight. Um, but we'll see how that works out for them going long term. Um, Nashville sits tied fourth with St. Louis. Um, St. Louis now plays. St. Louis plays Buffalo tomorrow, so they're going to get another win. As much as I hate to say it about my Sabres, but, yeah, as I'm a secondary fan of that team, I, I would really like them to win today. Every little point that you can get in this division will matter come playoff season. And if you miss by one point and you move up three spots, you're only picking seven, 14th. Yeah. So can we if, if we're not gonna make the playoffs, just dive it. Cause I don't want to make it by one point or miss it by one point. Right. 
Um, so there's that. Um, beyond that, we will uh, see what's going on. Um, uh, John, do you have something you would like to say to the people of Facebook regarding our whoopsie earlier? <laughs> oh yeah, sorry for anybody who saw our um upcoming graphic that. I accidentally released early. <laughs> yeah, we were we were photo trying for to see after this. <laughs> you try to see if it fit because the only way you can see if it fits is by putting it in and making it go and then refreshing the page when it uploads. So now it's yeah. out there. So you guys got a sneak peek of our uh, December our, our post Thanksgiving graphic. As you can see, we're both preparing for the next one. As we decorate our set, and you know, things are going to change. Um, we may even pop in and just do a little uh, short or a story on our page on Thanksgiving. Uh, I believe John's coming over here, and we're going to have some you because know. you know most of the time John comes over here on Thanksgiving or around it because I have turkey, and if I remember correctly, is it? Yeah, we got some family members on both sides that ain't too much of a fan of turkey. <laughs> oh, no, we are. It's just I'm having turkey with you, so we're having something different. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, we're looking forward to that. Um, uh, Update on, uh, on uh, the uh, 25th. Um, so far, we have no decision, final decision made on that. Um, that will be made decision day of as uh, I will see what position, what kind of condition I'm in and John will see what kind of condition he is in. So right. The game will get either graphic or covered in some way, shape, or form. Um, I will probably, if anything, it'll be covering the day game and then the night game gets graphic. That's, yeah. that, that's looking like what it could be. Um, I know that if I remember correctly, I think the day game on that one is Nashville. Yeah. Um huh. <coughs> um uh, let's see. Huh. Um, also upcoming from us tomorrow, uh, we have in the system, just a friendly reminder, yep. um, coming out, uh, that's a YouTube exclusive, uh, so check out our YouTube page, um, YouTube, please, if you check us out, give us a subscribe, maybe a couple likes, uh, comments if you want, if you're a fan of another team and, and, and you want us to do like, a all-time list or breakdown of something for your team all you have to do is put in the comments and one of us will see it and uh we'll work it into our videos because we do like talking about other teams it's just these are our main ones as um we are admirals uh john's half i'm full admiral season ticket holder um we watch every game <laughs> Mm -hmm. Whether we cover it or not, we end up watching every game. Um, you know, wait, I'd be watching every game either way. So, you know, that's just how it is. I, I've enjoyed it this year so far. Um, thank you guys for making this year so fun. Um, hi, Garrett and Robert and all of our loyals, uh, Steve Johnson and, um, Hi to any of our former uh, helpers, as in Matt Weiss, uh, Andy, and Chris, if y'all see them. <laughs> um, you know, uh, thank you to Milos over there at Hockey Locker. Um, you know, this is kind of my, my moment I'm taking right now to let y'all know what, what this podcast is thankful for. Because it, without you fans, it, it would not be this far. It, yeah. it would, if it didn't hit over a thousand, I was going to be done. 
and hit over a thousand in like a year. I was just like, and now that we were creeping towards two, and I'm like, um, I don't have the people for this one. <laughs> mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, it's just uh, make it, make the right decisions and um, always follow your gut. Believe in yourself. Um, believe in yourself because we did and we still do. Uh, you know, believe in your, that you can do something. Um, as two people with mental health um, uh, diagnoses, I don't call them illnesses or handicaps or anything like that. It's just an illness and not like a cold. It's just one that never goes away. Right. Um, you know, and some people like me like to turn it into my strength. What is my strength? Numbers, statistics, mathematics, um, angles, um, hockey, racing. Those are my strengths. I can tell you almost any stat for any like if you asked me if I could name five race car drivers from the year of 1995, I could do it. If you asked me if I could do certain things like with hockey, if you if I could name, you know, two players on this year's all that year's All Star team, I could probably do it without even looking. Probably going back to about 1995. So going that far back, I, you know, uh, I I remember back in the day, Chris used to have a, a segment of the show trying to stump Daniel on a hockey quiz. And in 9 out of 10, I knocked it out of the park. So um, the little things that we like to do, if you want to see a return of that, John can come up with some stuff and <laughs> uh, see if we can stump me, you know, because, you know, that's that's the interesting part. Like, you know, that's where it's at. So uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. Dan, John, and... As I did yesterday. So long. Farewell. Avita say goodbye.